So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing structures in C. In the previous video, I have discussed like what is a structure, how to declare a structure, like and why we need structure. That is like introduction part of structure, right? In this video, we'll discuss how to declare variables. See, structure is what I have told you. It's a user-defined data type. If it is a data type, then obviously we can declare our variables of that data type, like integer data type. So if you want to declare a variable, if you want to take a variable of type integer, then how you will declare? Just write down, uh, write, down, write down int and name of the variable, that's it. So structure is also a variable like float, so float, name of the variable, character, care, name of the variable. This is how we can declare variables of these data types. So structure is also a data type, but it, it is user defined. So obviously we can take variables of that data type, of structure data type, but how you will declare those variables? Right, that we'll discuss in this video with proper example, right? And those variables are also known as objects of structure. But before proceeding, just I just want to write down some example of structures like uh, we have uh, what we have discussed in previous video and you are supposed to tell me these are valid or invalid. You can write down the answer in the comment box, right? If you have watched the previous video, then you can easily tell uh, like these structures are valid or invalid. These are four examples like one, this is second, third and fourth. So you are supposed to tell me this declaration of structure is valid or invalid and if invalid then why it is invalid, right? Now we'll discuss how to declare the variables of structure. So see here I'm going to take the previous one that we have discussed in previous video like struct, struct, student. See struct is keyword, student is what? Tag, structure tag and this is I, you know optional. I'll tell you in detail in this video. I have taken three members. These are members of the structure, roll number, marks and name. After we, we are supposed to write down semicolon, right? Now, till now, no memory has been allocated to this structure because this is just a data type. This struct student, this complete is just a data type. So see, if I write in, more, uh, in main function, if you want to take a variable of type integer, how you will write int? A, how much memory would be allocated? 4 bytes. In some compiler, 2 bytes, right? If you want to you know, check out in your compiler, in your machine, how much memory, then you can just write down printf. In main, you can write down printf, size of, like size of operator, size of and in bracket, int. It will give the size of int data type in your uh, system, right? Now, if I want to declare a variable of this data type, then how you will write? First of all, data type, the name of that variable. So the data type here is what? Struct student, this complete is data type. It's not like many students do this mistake, they simply write struct and they think that this is data type. So they only write struct and the name of the variable like suppose I'm taking S, this is wrong. This complete is data type, struct student. Now name of the variable, suppose I'm taking name of the variable S. This is how you can declare the variables of structure or this S is also known as object of this structure. Using this object only we can access these members. How we will access that also we will discuss in the next video with a proper example, proper program, right? So now at this time the memory has been allocated. How much memory? To this S, to this object, to this A, how much memory? 4 bytes. To this A, S, how much memory? Because the data type of this S, S is struct student. Now struct student is user defined data type. So how much memory? You just have to calculate the memory required for these structure members. For roll number, 4 bytes because it is integer. For marks, it is float 4 bytes. For this, 20 bytes. So how much memory would be allocated? 28 bytes to this S. If you want to check out, simply write down printf. Size of this structure is what? Percentage D. Size of, in the bracket, you can write down S. Or you can write down size of struct student the complete word struct student it will give uh, whatever the size has been allocated how, how many bytes right so this is how decla declaration of variable this is one method second method is what what in main you can write down this thing if you don't want to write down this thing then while declaring this structure only while defining this this uh, data type here only you can write down the name of the variable like I'm taking one variable s. So no need to write down here in the main. 
means this s is what variable of data type struct student or you can say this is object of the structure this is second way but we generally recommend right we generally write down this method struct student and s uh, we define we take the variables in main function by writing this thing rather than writing here right so now if you want to take two or three variables of this type here only you can write down s1 s2 suppose two variables i want to take s1 s2 3 s1 s2 s3 that's it if you want to take 60 students like information of 60 students i want to store it's not like that you will take s1 s2 s3 up to s60 60 variables no that is not a good idea so how you will take array array of these structure variable that is also possible so that also we'll discuss this concept also we'll discuss for this video i guess it is clear you to uh, clear to you like like how to declare variables of this structure and this student one more point is what very important point is what this student this structure the tag of the structure or the name of the structure is structure is optional so you can just remove this thing and this is also fine here also now if you write down this we have declared two object of structure s1 and s2 right so you can omit this thing but the drawback of this point is what i hope in uh, for, uh, you know, some students got it here because at some point of time in our program i want to take more variables right anywhere so now it is not possible to take to declare variables of this data type in the main function or anywhere in the program why because we don't have the, that tag while writing we write struct keyword then the tag structure tag and then the object name or the variable name but here we haven't written any structure tag or the name of the structure so that is why it is not possible to declare variable by this method if you write down this thing if you declare if you define this a structure data type by writing this thing if you omit this structure tag right so that is a drawback fine that is why we write here struct like name of that structure like uh, as you can see tag of the structure and now you can write down here like struct student and i want to take a variable more s3 that is fine s1 is to here okay s3 three objects are we have created three variables we have created right now see if this is the case uh, suppose i am taking here only like s1 comma s2 so now for this s1 object separate this memory would be allocated for s2 separate memory would be allocated for s1 how much memory for roll number 4 bytes for marks 4 bytes for name 20 bytes same for s2 4 bytes 4 bytes 20 bytes 28 byte for s1 28 byte for s2 this is the case right if one more variable then 3 for 3 variables separate the memory would be allocated for s1 this for s2 same for s3 28 bytes right so i guess the different different methods of declaring the variables are clear to you now so that's it for this video now in the next video we will see how we are going to initialize these objects how we are going to initialize this structure see if you want to initialize this variable a what you will write is equal to any value integer value like 5 this is what compile time initialization if you want to initialize at runtime then just write uh, take those printf and scanner but how you will initialize this s1 and s2 these are also variables of this struct student data type so how you will initialize these variables right and in that video also you will get how to access the members of the structure right how we are going to access if you want to store some value for s1 student like row number one i want to store so if you write down here one that is incorrect because at this point of time no memory has been allocated to this data type so we cannot store any value if memory has not been allocated how you can store any value in this variable right so this would be wrong so now how you can store the values here and how you can access that information right that we will see in the next video so now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.